Hey guys, so um, I'm not feeling too good and I'm super tired. I don't really manage to get up or do a lot of stuff. I somehow managed to edit yesterday's vlog and upload it but besides that I took care of my cat and it just I don't feel good really I'm super tired and just I'm super tired and really not feeling that hot, so I don't know if it's like an aftermath of my infusion still or if it is something completely on its own, like just because I have the feeling like my fibro is transforming into something I had before. So I already talked about this in one of my vlogs. Like I am <clears throat> back in the day I needed a ton of sleep. Really I was more asleep than awake every day and it just was manageable for me. I just really, I wasn't able to stay awake. I was so, I crashed so hard every day. I started to fall asleep, not just while sitting uh, everywhere I was sitting. It wouldn't matter where I was. If I was sitting, I would fall asleep. And at one point it got so bad that I actually fell asleep while standing in the bus on my way home and nothing happened to me you know i didn't lose my grip or anything i really i just literally fell asleep standing in the bus and i don't know it's just it's weird and i don't really want to want that to happen again and but it's just so I'm just so uncertain, you know, what this is, and I wish I knew, I wish I knew if I could do any, something or anything about this, or, yeah, but I don't, so I will just have to wait and see. Um, today's Sunday, the t today I have to do my medication like prepare my medication for the next two weeks I will do that in the evening and yeah tomorrow early morning I have physical therapy but besides that I don't have to go anywhere that's good just have to jump in the grocery store but that's just on the other um, side of the street from my physical therapy and buy a few things not much really just like three or four things and that's it and yeah my tongue is still feeling pretty weird it still feels completely sore and i can't really drink anything i can't really eat anything because it hurts so badly i don't know it's weird really weird i'm just weird at the moment I mean, I'm always weird, but I'm feeling very weird at the moment and I don't know what's going on, but we only established that. Already established it, so yeah. I guess I have to wait and see, so yeah. I will check in later with you guys, I'm just... Nothing really happening besides me feeling very, very shitty. Yeah. I would have washed my hair today, but just couldn't make it. 
but I did it yesterday, so that's that was good. Just doesn't seem like it. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. See you later, guys. Good evening, guys. So I just did my mats for like I sorted my mats for the next two weeks and I thought I'd just show you how that looks like. I mean I'm done now so yeah that's just I just show you. Okay, so this is one hell of a mess but it does have a system. So um this is all garbage. This is um, where some pills are still in. This is my overall medicine box that I put in my medicine cabinet. The one right there with the white door. And those are um, like two weeks worth of meds. And put them in here so yeah I always do it for two weeks if I have um, four slots in each day because it's just easier for me I have my morning and my evening mats nothing like um, in the afternoon and I do have something for um, the night part but that's my sleeping pill, so I um, take that one with my other pills in the evening all at once. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And look who came out. Hey girl. Did you hear me talking or what is it? Huh? Beautiful. You're beautiful. What's wrong? Huh? You're hungry. Not really, huh? Okay. Okay. And now we can just put it all back in here. And that's the last one. There you go. Two weeks done. The dose for this evening I put into this little plastic cup. There you go. It's actually... Yeah, it's okay. Had I had it worse before, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for uh, <clears throat> for tonight. Just uh, gonna get everything where it needs to go and just you know. throw away the trash and put my medicine box back in the medicine cabinet and it is almost 7 p.m. meaning I will eat a little something now and then start winding down and just go to bed oh Update on the Norflex front, I don't have any shaking anymore, like my, um, that's pretty much gone, I mean, I don't know if you remember, um, but I can, if I don't forget to, put a link to that vlog, um, down below, or, down below and at the end of this vlog, um, I was very shaky at the beginning of taking this new medication, so that wasn't good. And I couldn't focus anymore, my mind was all over the place, I 
still have those moments but it's not as problematic as it was before so I can't focus again and I'm not losing my train of thought all the time I'm not remembering what I did today or all of that so my memory is getting better and the shaking is gone so now the only thing left to investigate would be does it help and if so how much does it help because after those two weeks i have one dose left so like 15 days i have i have left a dose for 15 days as of right now so i think i will take them up till the end and make a decision after that because I can't really say if it helps me or not. I mean I did feel a little bit better but now I went to my infusion and the infusion kicked in and the side effects of that and all of that. So it's a bit of mushy so you can't really tell you oh yeah that's so much better now or that's definitely a little bit better now that I started taking this medicine. I really can't tell which is kind of frustrating, but in the end, I will have to see what it does on long term. And yeah, so I will have an eye on that in the next two weeks. And yeah, that's it for me for today. I, like I've said, I will now end the vlog and do a little what's left to do and then see you again in the morning and i believe i already told you but tomorrow morning i have physical therapy yeah i told you um and after that going to the grocery store just real quick and yeah that's pretty much it for today and tomorrow i will try to get something done tomorrow i managed to vacuum clean today so that was good because especially if you have a pet like cat or dog or you know something furry that's all over your place I don't like it if I'm not vacuum cleaning every day or every second day because it just gets so messy with all the hair from your pet and yourself because I'm losing a lot of hair myself which comes actually is a side effect kind of of suffering from fibromyalgia and when you're having a fibroblast you're actually um, even losing more so yeah that's why I don't have that much hair in general so yeah um, final goodbye for today I hope you guys are okay as always um, I hope you had a great weekend and are starting good and fresh into the new week. And remember to keep on fighting and as always, I see you tomorrow. Bye!